Hey everyone and welcome back to Empty Pockets Ironworks. For today's project we're going to be creating one of my personal favorites, the Dragonfly. This is a really fun project. You will need a forge or some form of heat to form out the body. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, the rest of it's pretty simple and straightforward. This video is very abbreviated and will jump forward quite a bit throughout the entire length of the video. I'm not going to go into detail as far as what steps are what. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory as long as you're following along. You can make these however you want. You can make them as decorative as you want. They don't have to have a lily base like the one that we're going to create today. But it makes a nice aesthetic for it to set on. As I said, this is one of our more popular items and uh, a lot of fun to make. So sit back, relax. I'll chime in a few times throughout to just kind of give you some pointers as far as what's going on. If you like it, leave us a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, look forward to future videos. This is uh, video two for this week. We may not be able to keep up the same frequency, but we are going to definitely try to keep creating content for our channel. So with your support, hopefully we can keep it going. Thank you. For this segment here, you can see I've taken the 5 16 rod, flattened it out, and I'm going to create a upset on the end. The upset is to kind of create a bulbous area that we will put the eyes on later with the MIG welder. Here you can see I'm hammering in two indentations. One will isolate the head while the other creates the body. It also puts the tail in a downward position which looks more like a real dragonfly. From here, I will flip the material around and I'll draw out the taper on the end. The material is too long for what we're actually needing, so I'll use a chisel locked in a vise to uh, cut the excess off. If you don't have access to a forge, you can do this same style and same design with a grinder. Um, you can also cut it off with a hacksaw. You can basically shape all of this without the use of a forge. That's what's neat about this project. As long as you have a welder, you can do this.
Remember folks, when using a bench grinder, do not wear gloves. I've been fortunate, I've never been grabbed. I've had friends that have been. It should just be common sense, but means I've got this portion of the video up. I figured I would use this opportunity to reiterate, maybe to individuals that are new to the shop life, uh, maybe those that just haven't been around it enough. Exercise caution, wear your personal protective equipment, and please do not wear gloves while using a bench grinder. Uh, another pet peeve of mine is also make sure you've got your vice locked down. One of the things I can't stand is watching a YouTube video and somebody's vice is flopping all around their workbench. You know, nuts and bolts aren't that expensive. So if you can afford a vice, lock it down. looking good but we're not quite done yet. We're gonna fly over to the workbench, we're gonna do some touch-up grinding, some shaping of the wings, and then we're gonna do some etching with the Dremel. So stick with me, we're almost done.
Now other than a little bit of cleanup, some finishing grinding, little aesthetic touches like adjusting the legs, and of course a dash of clear coat so that it doesn't rust, this project's done. Uh, again, you can make these as ornate as you want. You could put them on a flower, you can leave them by themselves. Uh, they're just a fun little project. They sell decent at uh, local markets. And uh, for me, like I said, they're a lot of fun. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't talk too much throughout this one. And uh, if you really truly enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment. And uh, if you have a suggestion for a video or if there's something from our uh, business that you've seen online that you would like to see made, um, leave a comment and uh, I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much.